I hope you all are having a wonderful time here at Team. Um, my name is Cindy, and I'm one of the product marketing leads on Trello here at Atlassian. Thank you for joining me today on this session on ongoing onboarding. So for a show of hands in the audience, how many folks here joined either a new company or a new team in the last year? All right. What about brought on a new member to your team? All right, so a lot of folks, you understand what it feels like to onboard. Um, so now think back to the, this experience. I bet everything was completely seamless. Your work provided laptop just worked, right? No, onboarding is rarely smooth for anyone. And um, so starting a new job or a new role can be very overwhelming. There are a lot of new people to meet, a lot of new policies and goals to understand, equipment to set up. And on the flip side, when you're bringing on someone new to your team, you wanna share as much as you can with them that it also feels very overwhelming and it's hard to get a handle on things. So today, I'm gonna to share a few tips on how we can onboard using Trello and Confluence. First, we'll walk through a new hire example. In it, I'll demo some of the really great Trello features that help to streamline the processes and can get both you and your new hire feeling like you can breathe a little easier. And then, I'll show how Confluence can be used to bridge knowledge gaps on your teams. And then I'll give examples of how Trello and Confluence can be used together um, to build a foundation for team bonding and culture. And then finally, we'll talk a bit about how this framework for onboarding can actually be used well beyond the first few weeks of a new role and extend into ongoing knowledge share of team processes and rituals that will continuously help your team to succeed. So first, let's meet Nora. Nora is our newest teammate, and we're really excited to welcome her on board. So to help make Nora's first few days on the team a little less intimidating, we've set up this Trello board for her. We start with a new hire onboarding template, and with this template, we can list out all the various tasks that Nora will need to complete, broken out by week and day. So with this list of week one tasks, um, I can highlight certain cards with labels, which adds more structure and clarity to the information on them. In this case, Priority tasks, such as joining our Slack channel, are indicated with a red label. As a remote first company, um, this is really, really important for our teams to stay connected. And then if needed, Nora can also use labels to flag any items that she might need my help with. So in this example, Nora is struggling a little bit with her employee profile. I see the yellow label, and I can address it the next time we meet. Separately, I can also include longer-term milestones. This gives Nora clear expectations of what lies ahead and allows her to better plan her first 30, 60, and 90 days. And then toggling between Trello views, such as calendar view here, also gives Nora a visual roadmap of what priorities lie ahead. And as Nora completes her tasks, um, she can drag the cards to the done list. One to get it off the list. Oops, sorry. One to get it off her to-do list, and also to cue confetti. Which, um, so, as I mentioned earlier, my team is fully remote, so we have to be really intentional when we're connecting with each other. Um, for Nora, this means scheduling one-on-one -on -one meetings with all of our teammates. Um, but rather than list out every single person and all of our stakeholders, which can get a little unwieldy, I'll create one card for connecting with the team. Um, then I can use Trello's advanced checklist to break out each member of the team. Here, I can assign Samantha to the task, which is to meet with Nora, um, and add a due date to make sure that this happens in a timely manner. And then bonus, with Trello automation, once all of the meetings have been complete, and are checked off, Trello will automatically move that card to done. So, cue more confetti. And of course, no onboarding is complete 
without resources. Um, this is why we include a dedicated list on our Trello board for Nora that captures all of our important team resources. This is where Confluence comes in. Confluence is a central source of truth that helps to break down silos. On Confluence, I can create pages that details all of our projects that the teams are working on and the goals that they ladder up to. Not only is this really great context for Nora to understand what our priorities are and all of the historical context there, but it also helps us to level set with any partner teams. Confluence is also where our teams build and share knowledge. All of our detailed reference docs and how-to guides that Nora needs to truly get up and running all live in our Confluence instance. And if we look a little further into the future, once Nora is ready to start running her own projects, Confluence becomes a collaborative space to work across our entire organization. Nora can use Confluence templates to get her started and tag teammates to contribute to their ideas, comment on questions, and work together to ship the final design. So now, all of these amazing resources live on Nora's Trello board. She can quickly and easily access all the relevant information, all without having to search for it. So how many times have you tried to find that one tab with your reference doc that you're looking for, but couldn't among your 50 open tabs? With Trello, you don't ever have to do that. Um, and one more thing, on uh, Confluence pages, can now be opened and edited right on a Trello board. Um, in this case, we wanted to, it's not working. In this case, we wanted to clarify something on our acronyms guide, and without leaving, um, you can make the change right from Trello. Right. Um, and for all of you users who use Jira out there, and I know there's a lot out in the audience here today, Jira tickets can similarly also be opened and edited right on the Trello board. Um, efficiently track your tasks, onboarding and otherwise, and stay up to date on the status of each issue without ever having to leave Trello. Okay, so we've talked about workflows, we've talked about processes and documentation to make onboarding as smooth as possible. Um, but what turns onboarding from simply a smooth experience into a really great one? Anyone? Team bonding. So team bonding is critical to effective onboarding. We need to create a sense of belonging for Nora to truly feel like she's now part of the team. So what are some ways that we can foster that sense of belonging? So one way my team does this is by writing Confluence blog posts. Blogs are a really great way for folks to share who they are outside of work and connect with others who might have similar interests or hobbies. And for newer folks like Nora, we encourage writing an intro blog during your first week. Um, when the blog is published, the team is notified, and their welcome comments and reactions start pouring in. And of course, Nora can also read intro blogs from her new teammates. Um, intro blogs are a really great way to get a better sense of the team's personalities. Um, and speaking of personalities, my team loves to show theirs using fun, interactive components built into both Trello and Confluence. We can customize all of our boards with pops of color. We use plenty of GIFs, stickers, and images to highlight what matters most. And of course, we comment, we use lots of emojis, reactions, and app mentions to really connect with the team. It's always a little more fun when you're able to inject your own personality into the work. Okay. So we just went into, we just talked about uh, an in-depth new hire onboarding experience, complete with a Trello template for managing tasks and Confluence pages for sharing knowledge. But this board format, these features and framework should actually be used on an ongoing basis. And here's why. Think back to a time when what you did never changed. Same tasks, day in and day out. It's not really realistic. Um, as our ways of working evolve, our goals change, and we have to adapt. We spin up new projects, we work with new teammates, 
And every time we need to figure out processes and rituals to really help us meet those goals. So each time we are onboarding. So let's use the same framework to onboard a new project or cross-functional initiative. This, this Trello board look familiar? It's based off of the same new hire onboarding template that we used before. So again, we have lists here that define our project goals. Um, next, we identify all of our cross-functional teammates who will be contributing to this initiative. Um, we clearly indicate what everybody's responsibilities are to start so that everybody is clear on what their role is on the project. And then we have another list here with project resources. Again, Confluence pages that detail relevant information and historical context, and all in a manner that teams can quickly and easily access without having to search for it. And then finally, we have a list here with all the tasks that need to be completed in order to ship our project, along with due dates and assigned owners. Um, similarly, we can use labels to highlight priority tasks and any team that we might have dependencies on. So using the same framework that we did for onboarding a new hire, our new initiative has now gone from an ambitious vision to a well-organized, actionable plan with clear milestones and owners. Um, and one more thing. In addition to new projects, you can also use this Trello Confluence framework to struct, uh, framework to, as a structure to manage your own personal work. So to wrap up, the most complete onboarding experience occurs when Trello and Confluence are used together by setting up collaborative and easily replicated frameworks Teams are able to work more efficiently together and build a culture of understanding that continues far beyond a new hire's first day. So thank you all for joining today. Um, I hope you're able to take some of these ongoing onboarding tips back to your own teams. If you have any questions or would like to share how you use Trello and Confluence, please come find us at the booth. Thank you.